last video, I talked about people who think that LGBT people have mental disorders, and I asked whether those people should automatically be considered hateful. To me, their actions and attitudes tell their story. A group of people who I think are absolutely hateful towards the LGBT community are those who associate the LGBT community with pedophilia, or that we promote or enable pedophilia. The notion that we're a danger to children just by being in the same room. Yeah, that is hateful. There's no other way around that. Imagine if we did this to religious people and said that, well, because so many priests have messed with children and the churches haven't really found a good way of truly stopping it, that anyone in the church and anyone who supports the church is a groomer. Well, that wouldn't be taken very well, would it? Look, I understand that society at large views drag as an adult thing. And to me, most of the time, it is an adult thing. It can be toned down, but still, it is sexually charged for the most part. But so is a typical female music concert. So are cheerleaders. So are a lot of TV shows and movies. So are a lot of commercials. So are a lot of other things. But, you know, at the same time, parents don't go out of their way to show those things to their children. They may, they may be on the screen and then they say, hey, uh, let, let's have a discussion about this. And that's totally what's possible at something like a, a, a drag show. A parent can be saying, hey, uh, let's, let's talk constructively about this. I want to show you this so we can, we can have this discussion, you know. But, you know, for the most part, you know, parents don't go out of their way to show their kids things that are sexually suggestive. Many parents out there probably wish that they could rid those things from their children's entertainment entirely. Either way, society seems to put a much heavier weight on anything LGBT-oriented if it allows children to see it or attend. We're at a point now where it gets labeled as grooming automatically. Are there groomers at said events? There could be just as there could be groomers at a Sunday school service. Should we judge all churches that way? Now, there have been a small handful of child predators that have been at some of these events. This has happened. That doesn't mean that the events are grooming events, but it does mean that there are some people are try who are trying to take advantage of those kinds of positions to do those things. And we have the same things at churches. But at the same time, we do have to accept that we are at a point in society where LGBT people are being demonized. And people within the LGBT community and their allies, we all need to tone it back a little bit. Either that or we need to push back in an actual constructive manner where we're actually tackling the issues at hand. I don't see that happening very much. I, I don't know if the former will happen very much. I don't know if either of those things are going to happen. Yes, a lot of the people we're dealing with are genuinely hateful people. They are hateful towards our demographic, which means they're going to be hard to reason with. Their presence is growing, so we need to figure out how to get to the bottom of this stuff so we can put out this dumpster fire. I definitely think we need to tone down the activism in public schools all activism so it, so it's not looking like it's completely targeted you know it's just let's just cut back on all activism in public schools and i think we need to have some conversations that don't just evolve into name calling you're a something that ends in isterphobic therefore i'm not going to talk to you no you're gonna have to talk to some of these people we need to I mean, some people there's no reasoning with. I, I, I'm, I, I know this. There's some people there's no reasoning with. But we have to find a different way of tackling this issue. And I understand that actually appeasing some of these people isn't possible. And it probably isn't advisable either to even try. Because they'll just, they'll just keep you know, ratcheting in a direction. And no matter how far we go until we're praising Jesus... Or whatever, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're still no good to them, right? I don't know, but I'm frightened for the LGBT community over the next decade. 
We'll just see what happens.